Hey everyone, this is Ledbetter17P. Today we have a juice review for you from tokejuice.com. This is a 20 ml bottle that was sent up for review. Uh, the 20 ml bottles range about $10 on their website. Uh, this flavor that we're going to be reviewing today is called Pina Colada. So uh, we're going to take a look at this. We're going to talk about three different things. We're going to talk about bottle packaging, uh, vapor production, and flavor. Um, so yeah. Uh, bottle packaging first. Great labels. Easy squeeze bottle. Child safety cap. The labels tell you the flavor, has warnings, uh, tells you the bottle size and milligram strength. This is a three milligram strength bottle. Uh, also has the ingredients and the California Proposition 65 warning is on there as well. Uh, so, uh, like I said, child safety cap as well. And under that child safety cap is a really nice needle tip dripper, uh, which is actually very nice to have so 10 out of 10 on bottle packaging uh we got this already loaded up into a dark horse rda on my fog mods custom box right here uh this is a parallel build box uh in the dark horse i am running a 0.2 ohm dual coil uh with organic cotton and uh we're going to uh, give this a vape and talk about vapor production As you can see, vapor production is phenomenal. Got tons of vapor floating around in here right now. Um, your vapor production is going to vary, though. Uh, if you're using an RDA with a really good build like this on an unregulated box, you're going to get huge clouds. On a tube mod, you're still going to get pretty decent clouds. With the Atlantis or the Kinger sub tank, you're going to get decent clouds as well. But if you're using a aero tank or say something like an iClear 30 or a Pro Tank, you're going to get smaller clouds. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, so vapor production straight up 10 out of 10. Uh, so so far we have a 10 out of 10 on bottle packaging, 10 out of 10 on the vapor production, and now we're going to talk about flavor. Uh, flavor is where this juice is a little bit odd. Uh, like I said, it's a pina colada. When you smell it, you get that, like almost like a uh, like a fruity mix. Um, it's really hard to to explain, in my opinion. Uh, I would probably say it's close to drinking a pina colada, in my opinion. Uh, I know that sounds a little uh, straightforward, but that's the only thing I can really describe with this flavor. Uh, there is a bit of a at least for me, I don't know if it, everyone gets this flavor taste or not, but I get a tiny bit of a like a pineapple-ish aftertaste with it, which is kind of weird. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that kind of flavor, so uh, we'll give it a couple more vapes. Yeah, I mean, flavor's not that bad. It's pretty decent. Uh, it's definitely not an all-day vape for me. Uh, I probably wouldn't vape this any more than just for this review, to be honest. Uh, it's not a flavor I really care for, but it's still not bad. Uh, there's other people out there that may really like this flavor. Uh, so I'm going to be fair with the, uh, the flavor rating on this. I'll give it a 7 out of 10 for flavor. Uh... Just because it, it does have a nice uh, sweet taste to it, but the aftertaste is a little weird in my opinion, uh, at least for my taste buds. But um, yeah, that is the Pina Colada flavor from tokejuice.com. Check, the, check out their website. Uh, you can get the 20 mil bottles for $10. Uh, so the three ratings we come up with were a 10 out of 10 on bottle packaging a 10 out of 10 on vapor production, and a 7 out of 10 on uh, flavor. 
So check it out, tokejuice.com. Also check out leadbetter17p.net for downloads and videos. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button down below. Leave a comment in the comment section with any questions or concerns, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to share and subscribe. So until next time, this is Leadbetter17p. Keep on vaping.